we probably at the end we're gonna remember everybody to do that but you're gonna have to set your respawn back at this station afterwards because this is gonna like erase it yeah. Hey, Reaper, or not Reaper, uh, Paladin, heads up, listen to your positions, Mose, one, Campbell, two, myself, three, Azir, four. Copy that. And just be mindful, everyone. All plans are subject to change in the event of oh fuck moments. Good to go. The oh fuck moments are not covered under your insurance policy. Yeah, they're not. Remember, Campbell, I am right behind you, breathing in your ear, so if you do shoot a civilian, I will know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now nervous. So as soon as we land, I'm assuming Bina's going to be like, Alright guys, good luck. Yeah, pretty much. I have a feeling. <laughs> no, we won't be called a coward, or there won't be any defamation of character. Standing by on quantum on your mark, right? You're good, Mark. All hands, brace for quantum jump. So before we get to the... Hold on. Details about this mission. I'm sure the rest of the uh, team leads can fill you in once we get there. And in the mess, it's, it's going to be hard to remember. But uh, yes, we have servers that we need to firstly unlock via finding a crypto key off of an engineer. And then afterwards, uh, prevent from total meltdown by inserting uh, codes into the panels in the server room. And that'll allow a data transfer to complete uh, the people that are on Seekers, uh, on Seeker team, will be both entering those codes and running around finding them. The codes will be present on uh, screens, data, data pads or screens around the bunker. And uh, experienced members will point those out so you, you're sure what you're looking at. Um, each code will be assigned to a server. so. Make sure you find the identifier, the server identifier, when you're calling out a code, because there might be more than one that is currently overheating in the, the server. Again, that's just a short rundown, so you're going to see it when we get down there, and it'll be uh, refreshed by your teammates as we go. Well, that being said, it's probably within our all of our best interests, Seeker and Paladin split up into different channels, just so that we don't jumble. Yeah, it would make sense. Sounds good. All hands, brace for atmospheric maneuvers. What did Cherry do to you? I By got way, stuck. You guys can, uh, can take out charms here too. split us down here. Uh, my guys are going to squad two, so I'll pull you off. Okay. User left your channel. User was moved out of your channel. You were moved. User was moved to your channel. Outstanding. I forgot anybody, it's not important. And here I was thinking we were going to do uh, a different overdrive mission. Yeah, we're going to try and get to two. Uh, we're going to try and do this within 15 minutes, so 15 minutes per bunker. Okay. So, 
splitting up into two teams and getting it done. Most of the people that have done this a lot are in the Seeker team, so they know yep. what they're doing. Yeah. I did the most recent one on the freaking, uh, on the station, and that shit was, I was desyncing like crazy. There's just so many NPCs. I'm blaming it on like the NPCs, like just dying and just dropping their loot and stuff like that. That was it was horrible for myself. Almost died. Fingers crossed. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna start assembling in the loading area. Um, so everybody start moving down that way. We'll do a weapons check once we get down there. Okay. So we're stacking up on port. Yeah, we'll stack up on port side in the uh, loading area. Down. Wrong way, Azir. That was hilarious. Sub deck, doofus. Joke's on you, tough guy. I can't read. <laughs> Alright, uh, elevator clear. Yeah. All right, uh, Campbell, over here, port side. Is this the front or the back of the ship? This is the front. Okay, my bad, my. You're good. All right, weapons check. Check the buddy in front of you. Bose is good. One's good. Two's good. You are good, Campbell. All right, push out. You're good. Moving, yep. Paladin one's off, moving forward. Alright, uh, mouse wheel up, gents, so that we run. Stack up on the door, typical entry. Stack the lab, one set. Alright, follow. Yep, moving. Moving. All set. Set. Hit the button. Call it. If you're on the left side of the, the elevator, stick on the left side. If you're on the right, stick on the right. We're clear. They're going to go straight to the objectives. Cap.
All right, start moving around, checking areas, uh, checking corners, make sure everything's squared away. Um, Civilian down here. Oh yeah, Sam. All right, if I can get um, Azir and Moe's down on the bottom, Campbell and myself will be up top, um, and we will uh, keep an eye out here. We'll hold up here just in case. Are we going to be looking for those uh, terminals again? No, Art, we're not going to be doing terminals unless Vina needs our assistance. Okay, good to go. Sweeping, sweeping for bots, right? See. We're gonna be, we're gonna be, uh, pretty much just making sure they don't get shot. As in our secret team. Yeah, but if. All right, uh, those you two, you two on the bottom. If you see codes, um, just send out in a party chat what you got, where at, as best as possible. Like on me, on my ping or whatever. Um, that way they can get some assistance on it. The countdown Contact. started. Well, Didn't mean to interrupt you there. He's running up on you. Nope, you're good. Do your thing. Countdown started, so... So if you see any codes, just call it out in the chat. Good to go. Yep. set up on this side uh, or uh, basically if there's a screen see if it reads for any sort of code copy that don't see anything on the bottom so far keep going up there too there's nothing Got a code. Okay, where are you at? On my position, uh, uh Ryan Murray. <laughs> yep, you're good. You want me to read off the code? Oh, you got it. He's got it, Dagger's got it.
Got another code at the stairwell. Oh, it's pinging them, it looks like. It pings it whenever it's needed. Yeah, I think it, it does it for like the lower tier version of this uh, mission. Once it gets harder, I think it oh, goes it away. Okay. Yeah, it like goes away. I was about to say, because last time we did this, I didn't remember it doing that. True, yeah. Yeah, same. I forgot you can go back and do them, to be honest. I think Solus got the... Target down. It's got eight. I fucking burst. Shit, up top. Hey, you got one on the second level shooting down below. Be careful. in the mid. I'm hurt. Most is good. I got the tier 3 head. Azir, you gotta locate server access code right down there. To the right. What's the code? Our right, Solus has got it. He already got to. Yep, yep, he's there. One on the Bose's uh, Wire, one's position. position. Reads as. What's the code? 8833. Spot a new code, let me know. I got the complete. Oh, is it a bug? Might be. Alright, we get to... Extract, extract. Do we accept in this next one? Yep. Okay. Alright, load up in the elevator when you're ready. Yep, low set. Alright, so if you find a code, relay it to me, I'll relay it to Bernardi. Copy that. That's what we'll do. It's the same thing on all of them. Alright, move up. First two on, hold for security. Rest of you board. Yeah. 
Last man. on the uh, port side again, hold fast on the port side, where we were okay. before. This med bay doesn't heal tier 3 injuries, correct? I'm guessing. I don't think it does. It might. But you have yeah. tier 3? Yeah, dude. I think I'm tier three DCing hit. or something. Why? I was losing control of my character for a minute. All right, right now.
14.7 kilometers from Jet Point. heading in first, so be advised we'll be heading in first. I haven't had a tier 3 head injury in a while, and damn, this guy's like wheezing his ass off. It's a little blurry. Alright. If you survive, if you survive, um, try and use the med bay when we get back home. Okay. If you survive. When I survive. Yes. Yes. Sure. <laughs> Brain is like, yeah, now that star system has anything to do with it. No. I can't guarantee it. Laser pointers doing some weird shit. Yeah, that's almost just. Yes, yeah. I've never seen that. Yeah, no, I, I, that 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 defies all sorts of fucking. Holy things. shit! I gotta take a picture of this. I was about to say maybe I got tier three industry shit. <laughs> Okay, mine's doing it too. That's fucking weird. Yeah, and I can like, even though I'm like just crouched right there, I can still tell. It's just crazy. All right, go. Moving. One's off. Three's Four's off. off.
Looks like access is on the uh, opposite side. Yes. Oh, zero gravity. Yes, indeed. Stop. Just like paddle and then go left, or? Yeah, we'll just move. Up there, watch the uh, slight drop off right here. Low gravity kind of helped. <laughs> Is that ship over there destroyed? I don't know. Definitely see ship components around there. Uh, they did do a sea strike here, so. Oh yeah, I see the F8. Alright, board up. Helen one set. Alright, push in. Move. Campbell, you can take my spot, sorry. Oh, okay, sorry. Go. <laughs> no, no, you're good. I, you can take back your spot, that's what I meant to say. Oh, good to go. Alright, punch it. Alright, so while we are clearing, just be mindful of the codes when we need them. Um, if you have a code, read it out to me, I'll relay. Understood. Fucking lasers doing some weird shit. Alright, push him. Go, come on here. That's Press load looks clear. Coming up. Seeker's got the card. Alright, set up positions and uh, somebody get it be on the first floor, uh, preferably two people, two people on the second. Moe's, uh, they're yeah, initiating now. I'll head down too. Alright, Patrick Campbell, you're up top of me. Good to go. They're initiating, so we'll have bad guys here in a second. Alright, upload code. Just fucking eating bullets today, Jesus. Yeah, they don't like dying, do they? Find your code. Why is there an access remote connection all the way up there? Like on the surface, right? Like out of the bunker? Yeah. Yeah, back when I was doing these... Yeah, it was... It's weird. It was doing that for me a while ago.
Hey, Raynor, where are these crates over here? Found a terminal I remote no console idea. firewall activated. Yeah, that'd be the one. Pooling server S756 code 3329. Of us, these ones aren't open. At least, not yet. Uh, yeah, I think it's bugged. We need another code. Got the codes, focus on defense. I'll let you know when we need them. Okay. okay. Just ignore that access remote or except remote connection thing. And as far as the crates go, no fucking clue, my dude. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this. You must mean on the top level. Yeah. Oh, guess. Two codes, two codes. Yeah, one on the uh, Moses position. This What's is for code? server 317. Code is 3056. Three zero five six, right? Yep, three zero five six for server three one seven. Did they turn the FS9 into a burst? Not sure. Okay. I kind of doubt it. I think it's strictly yes. I think it's still full auto, if I'm not mistaken. Haven't used it since our last like range day, to be honest. Got the complete. Alright, you back. Hey. Copy. Heading up. Almost done. I'm stupid. Okay. That's right. We came in through the bottom and then we had to come up. Okay. Whoever's got the second or the third step, go ahead and share it. Mine's buggy. Priority is under general priority should be raid three out of five. General. I don't have one. Yes, I am. All right, let's book out.
Oh yeah. Um, most tend to that tier three on the timber. Yeah. that number four didn't get anything same thing with one signal codes that I use on the radio at work and oh. it simplifies everything so you guys give me or ask me something and I want to give you the yes or no equivalent to the signal or ten code and I'm like yeah, they wouldn't understand shit <laughs> so then I'm like uh uh <laughs> like brain fart <laughs> yeah <Which> words <laughs> right it's getting harder and harder to do because our ten code for negative saying negative we say 54 so when you guys ask me a question that is a no i want to say 54 and y'all are just gonna look at me like fucking stupid <laughs> yeah 10 4, right 10 4 <laughs> 26 54 fucking uh, 10 9 for repeat like i'm just like uh it's to the point where it becomes so much easier to jargon than it is to actual English. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Alright, so same thing as before. Um, intensity is going to be a little bit higher because we're going to have more enemies and more codes to get. So, But y'all kind of get the lingo of what we're supposed to be doing. So. Yep, yep, yep. I just uh, got to have some more med pens because I keep getting shot tonight. So, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I'm I'm trying to shoot, and my laser's like doing some weird shit, and I'm like, eh. I'm thinking maybe it's like just the hangar bay thing. Like I don't know, it's just weird.
<laughs> Going on one here. No. <laughs> this is uh, a little awkward, but uh, yeah, Campbell's like inside of Rainer uh, right now. Whoa, um, inside of Rainer? I'm just using my cover and concealment. <laughs> with your unregulated fucking firearm with the back of your... I, I, it's my trophy, I'm taking it back to collect it. <laughs> Collecting trophies, that's against regulation 362-4 Bravo. Wait, really? Is that a... <laughs> oh, my bad. Let me go store it. <laughs> Too late now, motherfucker. It's yeah. got a war crime to push down, bitch! <laughs> yeah. There was a joke thing that I was watching, I was talking about Canadians basically, uh, may being the reason why there's such a large list of war crimes on the Geneva Conventions. Like in World War One, apparently, before they would throw grenades oh. in, they would throw cans of food into the trench. Oh, get what? Get used oh, to it, shit. and then throw grenades in. Oh, dude, that's, that's pretty fucked. sick. Yeah, that's fucked. Put the pick in the gallery. It's like I was coming down the elevator, and I was like, oh, yeah, grab some more med pens. I walk in, and I was like, oh, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> Hey, I, I got a better shot of it once I get. Oh yeah, okay. Yes, I got the inside view. Come on the floor. Got the face pick. <laughs> nice. Shit, it just did it like real quick and then it went away. Call hands, brace for light maneuvers. fish on the end of my laser. Oh, it's Bendik again. Look at it. <laughs> That's Look cool. Look at it. Look at it. I 
that's a big one. Maybe it has to do with how fast we're going or something. Connected. Insufficient permissions. Channel switched. You back? To the door. I don't think there's gonna be any baddies here. I think it's on the act opposite. It's side? on the this oh, or, this oh, side. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Can't get any good help. Actually, no, I'm wrong. I am right. <laughs> oh, okay. I was feeling like it was on the opposite side, but okay. Alright, you good.
Don't mind me. Take point. Yep, 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 yep. One set. All right, push. Moving. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, hold, hold for Eric. Happy. All right, same as before. Two up, two down. Yep. All right, punch. Hate these fucking elevators. So much bad memories. What bad memories do you speak of? Early ashram days of CQC. Ah, right, push. It. That back when you just fell through the floor all the time. Yeah. Engineers on the uh, server room, by Mo's. Take him out. Take him out. Looks like daggers beat me to it. Confirm. You got him. Alright. Uh, we just uh, hold up and wait for them to access the server and then start doing code. So. Copy that. At least these guys conveniently carry extra. Pens. Oh yeah. Yeah. Took some bullets there. Oh yeah, I got lit up pretty good. Yeah. Happens. You can walk it off. It's just a third one. Yeah. Remember, we were Marines before we became Sol 5, so. Oh yeah. Yeah. Before we got too good as Marine. Or too bad, depends on how you look at it, I guess. Yeah, it definitely depends on how you look at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Elevator on me, or it's up. Oh, shit, fuck. That was loud. Oh, that was a zero shooting. Okay, I thought it was <laughs> somebody up upside upstairs. Yeah, he took a lot of shots. He wouldn't die. Yeah, it happens when they like don't want to leave the elevator. This shit happens.
for the codes to load, I guess. Searching on the bottom. Oh, I, got, I see nothing yet. Yeah, I got the three nine. I got this one right here. Got it. Three nine zero eight has been confirmed. So if you see that number, it's good already. Alright, need code, need code, need code. On patrol. Got that on Moses' uh, position. Server 156. Code is 7004. I'm across from right there. Sheesh. Okay. <laughs> Campbell, you jumped over my round. <laughs> oh shit, on me. Right on your right, Campbell. Code on uh, Moses' position. S156 server. Code is 8179. Bernardi's got it. He's standing there too. You know, we'd be able to do this a whole lot quicker if the server codes didn't take so long to load in. Yeah. Mm. Facts. <clears throat> I'm gonna start double tapping these bodies, man. They're showing up all over the place. I don't know if they're faking it or not. 
Definitely impossible. Shit, I would too. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Code. Jesus, Campbell. Oh, wow. fired. He's got it. But not really. <laughs> uh, anybody got a way to pick him up? Maybe knock him unconscious and use the gravity gun to get him out. You have to knock him out, that's the issue. And hope he doesn't fall into the pit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do it afterwards. I go burst fire on the PA, it does not move. No recoil. Huh. You have to stay aimed down though. He's next to you, he's here. I was like, he was, he was like yeah. glitching through me. Yeah, he was like desyncing three. Got yeah. a code. Need a code. I got a code. I got it. Yep. Got a level three head injury. Oh, yeah. That's, there it is. That's exactly what he's trying to show him. It's just hilarious. Like the slowest fall ever. Shoot him, Azir. Shoot him. I asked how copy. Grab him. Nice catch. Next, next raid's been sent out. The next one will probably be my last. I'm back. Uh, I think I need that <clears throat> contract shared again. I just missed it. There you go. Thank you. Alright. Last man. Punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it. So what do we get again for completing these? Money. Money.
to like a thousand credits each. Well, it's a little bit more than that, actually. I think the more you do, the higher the credit goes. Oh, okay. Alright, back to the ship. Very barren. Need to gear up. Do your thing. Good enough? Yeah, we'll try it this way. Yeah, probably better. Since All hands, can't... brace for light maneuvers. Since you can't fucking hear my whispers. Yep. That's why I need to confirm the fucking call out, man. That's what I do. How copy? I didn't even copy you how copy. That's your fault. That's not my fault. If I don't hear it, that's not my fault. It didn't go through. Concept of Asian. We call laptops, notepads. Uh... <laughs> Y'all even have internet over there? No, I'm playing. Damn. With, uh, Do you even PC. have personality over there? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. There's only jungle, football, and Y'all know you naked woman. Damn here and ants. Whoa, did I hear naked woman? Hold up. Wait a minute. Monkeys. Monkey. Okay. That's a rude way of calling a woman. Okay. <laughs> it's up. Yeah, the Chileans, they do it all the time. They got a bunch of racist fucks. Yeah. Tell them. Tell, generalize more about Chile. Yeah. They think they're Europe, dude. Now is it Chile with beans or without Dan beans? And the Argentines, they think they're Europe. Hey guys, I'm gonna want to be here when World War 3 starts. I mean... No, not really. I'm gonna get bombed. You guys gonna get bombed? Yeah, shoot people for free? Fuck yeah! 
It won't look any different though. If it <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. Oh, you're right. It won't look any different. say that but you guys had that TV program with the fat kid uh, Bobo or some shit uh, the That's TV something. program with the fat kid you're gonna have to narrow it down but... fat Albert <laughs> uh, something Bobo right I don't know what you're talking about I don't watch TV so. fat kid named Is it like Pooh. Winnie the Pooh or something? I, don't know. I was serious guys never heard of that kid like uh, that like she, she the, the whole deal is that she was extremely fat and she would go on like these miss like little i don't even know how it's called like these kids boogie things like they're weird as fuck but the joke like is that she other, was fat sounds like another tall tale from no it Rapa. sounds like that redneck That's commercial of like mama what's your name and the the fat family some American for Princess it. Penelope or some shit, whatever it was. That was even a, a South Park episode. With kid. And this is not narrowing things down. They, 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 joke, they joke that she had like a, she, she, like her heart failed and they implanted like a pig heart on her. That was a joke. I've y'all seen it. Just... weird. Y'all got some weird shit going on in Brazil. Yeah, Bernardi's a uh, South Park stories. is an American show. Are you sure about that? It is. Yeah, but this yeah. this Honey Boo Boo shit. Oh, there you go, you call it. You acting like you don't even know what it is. What is it called? Honey Boo Boo. Yeah, I have no idea either, but I just know the name Honey Boo Boo. Uh, okay. What's it about? It was a show on TLC or something. Do no you guys also it. have that other dude that uh, fucked his own car? He was uh, just sexually attracted by his That gun. sounds like Alabama. That's Alabama. They, they did marry a goat over there. I don't think that happened in America. I think it's... Alabama's fucking weird, man. They, they, you can lawfully, legally marry a goat. And then that one lady married a tree. There you go. So, I mean, that's Alabama. Brain mutation. The only thing good that comes out of that place is their football team. And that song, uh, Sweet Home Alabama. Na 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 These travel times suck. You gotta make sure uh, we, you know, have enough play time during the event. We're just coming out of corner now. The TST is pretty quick. This is no Urbis. Or a comma, rather. Yeah, but I want to be there already. You should see this thing with the stock quantum drive. You'd kill yourself. Flying the fucking car, my hammer head all around the system. A jump like this would take like literally half an hour. Uh, can I get some more treatment here? Go to the carrot or the that's it. Yeah, go to the carrot. Oh wait, Campbell's got you. Does he got me? Uh, I, don't I don't think, think I, 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 I do. do. I don't think I do. You wait oh. till now. Is it bugged? You're not showing that you uh, 
have injuries on my heart. I'm at 82% health right now. Yeah, I'm at 80. as fast as possible as fast as it will go you coming again Eric? yeah sure was like we hit the dirt and it's like get the fuck out of the ship <laughs> this guy's shooting us everywhere we gotta hide Beautiful. i thought it was great i bet it don't work oh shit there's a big ass gun here all right hold it here i think oh, clowns yeah, going first shortly. i gotta fucking go down the elevator and come around Alright, push on the elevator, we'll wait for Lamborghini. He can push in, we'll wait for him at the elevator. Look how crazy Crusader looks. Here. It's the moon. Yeah, Rocket it's a Crusader. That's never moon. That's the International Space Station. Alright. All right. Hey, Same thing as before, two on top, two on the bottom. When you find a code, relay it to Bernardi and make sure you do how copy at the fucking end of it so he knows. Yes. You have some basic out. radio etiquette, right? Don't talk to me about radio like... etiquette, motherfucker. <laughs> it's an important distinction, like how can you possibly copy? Two left. One down left. Push it right. Say, why the fuck do you have your this thing? That's just how I run. You don't find the engineer yet? I have not. Anybody see a white cap running around? I'm on the server room. 
Ja, ich fahre mit Ja, okay. Alright, you wanna do this again, Dagger, or you wanna look for codes? It's up to you. Uh, yeah, do it again, because I, I hate to do the codes. Fucking gives me anxiety. Mason. What do they mean, Mason? Yeah, hey, I wish I were Mason. I want to get hurt. I want to get shot in the head by a fidel. Hell yeah! <laughs> That's what happened to him. Fucking man. Hell yeah! By his God, best friend. Guys will see uh, their friend getting shot in the face in the fifth and say, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> <laughs> What are these boxes? I really need to replay the first one. I think it was what, the uh, second or third one when he gets shot in the head? In the Only the first one, you know, the rest is whatever. Yeah, I quit paying attention after the first Black Ops. I actually quit playing COD after the first one. Yeah, it's up right after. Modern Warfare, like... You guys stopped doing it uh, after Invincible Warfare? No. Well, yeah. But... Infinite. Nah, I, I did the remastered of Modern oh, yeah, Warfare, that's where I started out, yeah. Same. Don't shoot the baby. That took some restraint, huh? I mean, yeah, it's a video game, so I was like, eh. Hey man, it is what it is. It'd be what it be. No Russian. What the they really Russian. desecrated that mission on the remaster, right? Oh, they it was did. nothing like it. Really? I didn't know that about that. Yeah, I think they changed the mission completely. Boo! -hoo. See, it's like not even the same then. It's a remake. They had to be like uh, on a plane and. You don't kill any civilians, like it's mostly just... What the hell? And the mission is like yeah. super, super quick. They don't even yeah. want you playing as a terrorist, pretty much. Yeah, Jeez. TSA probably hopped on that and was like, yeah, no, fuck that. That was like the most fucked up of the whole game. It was. They made you like agree or decline, like at the begin very beginning of the game, before you yeah. started the campaign. Well, originally that. that wasn't even in there. What, the, the prompt? Yeah. Oh, damn. I mean, you didn't, you didn't have to shoot anybody, you could literally just walk through there. Yeah, but I, yeah, sure. I, yeah. Yeah, I committed a lot of felonies during the I game. definitely did too. Oh, yeah. Known terrorist Gregory Mose. No code, code over here. Alright, let's go. Uh, uh, code? code is 4737. 4737. Did you copy, Bernardi? You got that? I'll copy. Four seven three seven. Tango okay. down. Go. Tango down. Right, Tango sucker, I believe, is as, as, as op four would say. Uh, ooh, code. Code. One six one eight. How copy? One six one eight. One six one eight. I still think my favorite mission of all time for COD was probably the one in Call of Duty... Is it 4? Where you like stealth in the ghillie suit through the whole mission? Uh, oh, ghillie the... That was a, really yeah, that was one of the Modern Warfare ones. Um, yeah. Yeah. Modern yeah, that's Modern Warfare. Think. Warfare. Yeah, that's Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Yeah, that, that Modern Warfare is the one that, yeah. Because that's, that's the same suppressed. one that had all the extra yep. uh, missions you do in the co-op. Like the snowmobile one, and the the one where you gotta go through shooting the German shepherds in the forest. Yeah, I thought that was a lot yeah. of fun because you're like just sneaking through on the highest difficulty. That's also when they introduced the juggernauts. Yes, the old juggernauts. The missions for like the the, the original like trilogy are pretty cool. Also, yeah. other tank missions. Like every single one had like a tank mission. That was always my my favorite. Now, a game that I really loved was Army of Two. 
Hell um, yeah, yeah, bro. That was yeah. a badass game. The, the first one was the best, the second one was okay, but the first one was ultimately the best. I, I only have bad memories. I, I played that game with a friend and it was really bad and I kept screaming at him because he kept I, losing. I love getting all the different oh. masks and customizing that shit. I, was like, That's dope. I really enjoyed uh, World at War. That was World at War? World at War, yeah. That was probably my favorite. <laughs> hey, my don't, don't, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 20% damage. Holy! Yeah. World at War. Uh, I mean, you know, Big Red won all the OG Call of Duty games. Call of Duty 3. World yeah. at War. Because uh, World at War was probably the last one I truly enjoyed. Medal of Honor. Did no, you bro, guys see me codes? Uh, no, yeah. uh, not yet. Oh, I see. Thanks. Good as the Uh, 3060. 3060. It's crazy to say Call of Duty 3. I was like, like 14 or something like that, and my first Xbox Live gamer tag was uh, Sarg Campbell. S A R G <laughs> Campbell. That shit was funny. I obsessed over the military back then. Yep. Yeah. It's the only real reason why I played uh, the Call of Duty World War II is just for storming the beach again with like modern day graphics. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was like, fuck yeah. I'm a fucking World War II bitch anyway, so I was like, yeah. They did get Battle of Bolts pretty fucking good in that game, though. Yeah, did they? How? What makes you say that? Well, it was because they capitalized it as like, the most bulges. historic. They capitalized the on the Hey, bulge. I had family were in that shit. Well, fam, a member. But, no, they capitalized on like the most historic parts of it, you know, just the... Made you really feel the atmosphere of how fucked up it was for them. Yeah. I think it was Battle of the Bulge. Got one on those. Code. Yes, right. code. Yeah, server 445, code is 4496. I think uh, Battle of the Bulge is where my grandfather got promoted and then lost his rank at the same night. Wow, he must have sucked. Uh. <laughs> what? How? I uh, think it was... And then it was like revoked or something? Yeah, it was something to do with alcohol. No, no. damn. Yep, is, it, is that a bad time to say that I had family on the German army? Um, I mean, I did too, so... Oh, yeah, like, Didn't yeah, a lot of Nazis run to the South, South, America South America anyways? I think so, yeah. I think in like, like Colombia or something like that, a bunch of them ran no, into like old officers. Oh yeah, okay, my bad. Has even a, has even a achievement now in Hearts of Iron for <laughs> to get Hitler to oh, be really? president of Argentina, yeah. Oh shit. Not yet, man, sure. Hello, senor Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. It's too comfortable saying that. Fucking nine mil. Oh my. Oh, laser. Get him a zero, please. Laser again. Thank you. I've got that ammo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. God damn it. I had to duck behind and cover right there. I need ammo. Did he code? Code? God damn it, I need ammo. I got extra ammo if you need it. No. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, Where you at? Right one, one, eight, six. What do you need? Oh, gotcha. One second. Got it? Got it.
in our game that had a good campaign, Battlefield 3. Love that game. The, the mission with the night raid that get everybody running on the hill. Oh, yeah. That, that's like awesome. Love Battlefield 4. Oh, we just completed it? I uh, think so. Oh, yeah, we did. Alright, back to the elevator. Y'all want to do the last mission or call it and do a debrief? I a, lesson, right? a little I, late for me. I have to personally get going. Yeah, same. Can I can I safely log from here? Or... Uh, you should be alright to log. Yeah, I don't think we went through any stations. Last man. Okay. All right. So sounds like we're gonna call it due to the loss of manpower. I think. All right. You're losing what two people? Now one mission left. Uh, I mean we can keep doing it. We're just losing two. That's okay. I'll, I'll get the ship back to the base and dump the wreck. That'll be the key thing for me. Okay. Might need to get a new ride. This is important stuff, okay? It's getting wiped in like two weeks, okay? We gotta hold on to it. What do you need to do? If get get the requisition home. If y'all wanna keep uh, if y'all wanna keep doing it, we can. Um Lombardi, I know you're leaving, so we're gonna lose our transport. But well, I'll you get, get you I'll get you back to base. Last uh, man. Let's go back to base at least. Okay. Alright, last man. Yep, confirm. Closing the room. Alright, we'll head back to Michael one. Oh, my dad is not here, so... Have you ever played Baldur's Gate 3 Lombardi? I sure have. You're Gale. I hate Gale. I, I know, but you just... just a little hand, please. Please. Hello. <laughs> I, every time I fucking hear Gale's voice in that game, I think of you. Ugh. I know, it's it's hideous, isn't it? I don't want to play a game with you, so it's like, have to deal with that sissy guy. Sissy wizard. <laughs> you're, you're Gale, though. Like, if I could... You're, you're Gale. If I could book for your call sign. I already have a call sign. It's incredibly huge dog, man. Alright, so while we're on the way here, we're wasting time. Uh, we can do a quick debrief. Um, you know, thank you guys for coming out. Um, obviously, it was a little bit of a light turnout. Uh, we didn't have many of our key officers, but I think overall we kind of did pretty well. Um, I'll kind of hear what the ground team had to say, but I think from overall perspective, we did pretty well. Last time we did this mission, we did like two to three bunkers. We've basically got almost up to the fifth. So, you know, time was, was very well used. Um, so I'll be curious to hear, you know. Um, so James, how did the ground team do? How did uh, Paladin and Seeker? Um, they did pretty good. Uh, we had to kind of help out um, Seeker um, due to just lost manpower and whatnot. Um, so Paladin ended up helping with the uh, codes. The codes took the longest time, not only to generate, but fine so that was pretty much the the time consuming portion of it um the enemies weren't an issue we sustained minor injuries all of them were um recoverable um, so everybody is still green uh nobody went down um Bernardi almost died but he, that's because he jumped off the balcony um other than that we did good um like i said the most time consuming portion was just getting the codes but there were no other difficulties or anything like that we did join the same channel after a while just so that com uh, communication could be better um so that we all could just relay the codes to dagger who was the main dude near the last portion of it that was a uh, man in the terminal but as far as i can tell we did good no casualties uh worked out pretty well um wish we could have gone through it a little bit faster but you can't really the code mechanic kind of takes a little while so
Yeah, I would also say that there's a bit of RNG given if we had like one or two bunkers that were in the same sector, we could have done them a lot quicker. Jumping back and forth for like five to ten minutes each time was pretty rough. Um, you know, I think it went very well. Would you say that, you know, we tried to shoot for about 15 minutes per bunker. That was probably pretty fair, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't I don't even think we spent 15 minutes in any bunker. Um, the first one was a little nerve wracking just because we were getting our feet wet. But I mean, I think we narrowed it down. I don't think 15 minutes was honestly, I think we did it a little either just about 15 or a little before 15. So good. I'm glad to hear that. Hopefully we kind of keep that as the new standard. Um, obviously, that's something that is, yeah, it's soft 5 CFC will discuss. Um, from uh, VFA 14's perspective, uh, pretty much same old, same old. Um, we essentially just performed seed for you guys tonight. Um, we did our best to kind of keep it as quick as possible. Obviously, the carrot a little bit faster, so we did lag some you know, lag between jumps here and there. But I think we performed our duty pretty well, and I'd like to hear your feedback if there is any in that regard. Um, otherwise, I'll open up the floor now to you know anything else you want to say. Uh, just so everybody remember to, before you leave, just go back to station, set your respawn. Um, I'd also yes. like to point out um, that there were no casualties that were, uh, no civilian casualties were sustained. <laughs> um, so that's a plus. Other than oh, someone shot the engineer guy once. I did. But that was yeah, really he's a piece of shit. shit. Yeah, he's a Xeno threat guy, so. He's an arm, goddammit! I, I confirm. <laughs> I confirmed with the man he's a Xeno threat. And I was like, oh, Xeno threat's a known terrorist group. You're not a you're not innocent at that point, so Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> then he turned his back on me and I feared he was gonna bolt on me, so I put one in his leg. Yeah, that's a that's, a, that's an amazing backstory you came up with there. Hey man, use the force, all you gotta do is articulate it. Just, just, trust me. The rest of these are cop. <laughs> just articulate the use of force. Well, I, I hope you had a good time, Dagger. I know it's your first operation with us. Um, things are a little bit more wiry than they usually are. We kind of wanted to have a very quick reaction force, try to keep things pretty under pressure on the clockwise. Um, so some things may have been a little bit less articulated than usual, but I still hope you can you have found enjoyment tonight. So thank you. Yeah, I had a great time. Really fun. And we got money out of it today. Right? True. Sure. More than um, be able to your <laughs> Yeah. Um, just so everybody is aware, um, tomorrow Take we will be bro. Yep, see ya. See ya. It was a pleasure. Um, just so everybody is aware, this was phase one of the Xeno Threat missions. The last phase, phase five, will be happening tomorrow. Um, if anybody wants any help completing all the phases before uh, 3, uh, 323 comes out, that is when all of the phases end. Um, you know, please reach out and let us know. I can probably find some way to get you help. Um, that way you get all those things done. Some of the missions like part three and part four particularly need a good team, um, especially if the server is doing very well. So, you know, by all means, please reach out. Yeah, feel free to hit me up if you need help, anybody. Is tomorrow the cargo thing they mentioned? Yes, tomorrow will be the delivery missions, the, the jump point. Oh, exciting. Yes, very. What is that exactly? Yeah, so basically, um, the, the way they describe it is part five is going to be you go to like random racks or to like uh, points of interest on a planet, you pick up boxes, put them in your ship, fly them into the jump point. They're like medical supplies, food supplies, stuff. It's going to be a calm, generally calm kind of, you know, meandering experience from what we've currently experienced in the mission set because it's supposed to be like a pallet cleanser because the next part is going to be Xeno Threat, like, full-on fight. Um, and that's apparently going to include the, the fully fleshed up Idris that we can expect to board, um, you know, and enable action. So. Oh, wow. Do y'all know when... when... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. And, uh, YouTube. Uh, if you look at the, the recent post, with the box delivery missions, there's going to be enemy opposition there. So keep that in mind. Yeah. And nice. trolls, potentially. Yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, do you sign camel? Uh, do you all know when uh, 323 is going to drop? So 323 is in wave one right now, so it is open to open to the public for CERN testers. Um, my my expectation for 323 is going to be late April, early May. Um, oh wow, so, that's it. So yeah, well, so basically the way it works is um, in Invictus, which is I believe generally starting at like 
May 17th to May 21st is generally the 0.1 patch. So they try to have at least two to three weeks between 3.23 and then 3.23.1. So, okay. you know, yeah. Bro, I'm excited. Hell yeah. We all are, dude. Like, That's going to be so amazing. Oh, yeah. You know, um, you know, in terms of the Xenothrum mission, in particular, the last one, obviously we're hoping to be able to get Saw 5 to fucking reach and clear a full address full of Xenothrum scum. Hell um, yeah. You know, while VFA-14 is keeping people from torpedoing your ass because they don't understand the concept of friendly fire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how, this, how, how the servers fare. Yes. I wonder how many people are going to kamikaze the, the hangar bay. Yeah. All of them? <laughs> I mean, you know, in the best case, we take over the address so we can let we can park the the shit inside. Because it's a Bro, fully functioning wild. address. Just do uh, what uh, Anakin and Obi Wan did: just fly straight in and pop out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's basically what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to fly into the. We're gonna have to blow the hangar bay open. You're gonna have to fly in and jump out. What? Oh my Whoa. goodness. Yeah, that's uh, gonna be amazing. They they did mention that we we are getting a tool to help fight that. So it's either going to be the Legionnaire, or to be the Legionnaire, the Zeus, or the Polaris, in my opinion. Those are like the three things I could foresee them no giving us. The, the Legionnaire would be sick as fuck. Yeah. Right. So, so for those that don't know, the Legionnaire is essentially our only boarding vessel. It has the ability to hack a airlock open and like let clamp on. So it's kind of like a. Oh, know, that's parasite. cool. Yeah. So it opens up the door, and then you hack open the airlock, and then boom, you're you're in. It's Have y'all ever used it before? It's not in game. Not in what? game. What? Yeah, that's yeah, it's something that they're gonna release here soon. Definitely hopefully. purchasing one. Wow. It's gonna be glitchy as fuck, probably, but yeah, yeah. Medical concerns got you. But it's that the Polaris and what's the other one? I think the Zeus. Gotta be the Zeus. Eh. I mean, I, I know both the Legionnaire and the Zeus are in late stage gray box, like as of like a month ago. Um, I, I would I would say it's either gonna be the Legionnaire or the Zeus. Just Polaris that is like a ten percent. They can't even get like station to ship, right? Like docking. Imagine like ship to ship. I mean yeah. the Merlin works okay. And I mean if they said we gained something that's gonna help us out, then it must be like something bigger than the Zeus. Because what, what, what good is the Zeus gonna be? Quantum interdicted. Uh, yes. The Idris? The, the bot Idris that probably doesn't jump anywhere? Well, it, 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 that, that's the thing. Is, like, is it like a tongue-in-cheek help you out, or is it like an actual, like, this is a this is a tool that you can use? You know? Help our wallets. Oh, I guess. Sorry. Yeah, here. Uh, otherwise, guys, you guys are fully dismissed. Uh, it was a pleasure. Uh, Kimball, I'll send you some pics of what the Legionnaire looks like so you can get a yes, better idea. Yes, please. Yep. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much. I will see you next week at the latest. If you do need help, please reach out. I'll be happy to help you with the Invictus events. Y'all take, take it easy, easy, man. Appreciate it. See you, man. I see you. Uh...